Aaron with the Locators, thanks for stopping by and checking out our channel. Today we're in the cargo trailer camper conversion and we're going to be talking about bed setups. The first thing I want to share with all of you is the top bunk, the E-Track system, and the E-Track connections that you buy separately. So let's get right into that. So these are the E-Track e connection board holders. They can support 2x4 and 2x6 lumber. So you just clip them in, super easy to clip in and clip out. And they don't go anywhere, they don't, they move side to side a bit, but they don't move in and out. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the hammock style bunk. Now I DIY'd this together using some simple products, two 2x4s, two and then added and cut strips specifically to hold this into place a little bit stronger. Now I just used a little bit of a tarp, uh, it's a softer tarp, and I wrapped the two by four and stapled it from the inside, then added a piece of lumber, a piece of wood underneath there to just kind of hold it all into place while I screwed it in. I also incorporated a cup holder and it's notched out perfectly for the E-Track system. So I'll go ahead and show you all how easy this is to install and take off. Let's install it real time. See how easy this is to install. You take your one board, you put it in your back connectors, and your first one. And in. And he's got his top bunk all set up, and we can just pull that right off. If you want the quad to uh, come in. That kind of just wraps up nicely, doesn't get all full of mud and dirt, and stows away underneath the bottom bunks. I couldn't be more impressed with this E-Track system myself. Personally, it's come in handy for quite a few little jobs and odds and ends. Super easy to install, lots of holes. I definitely had to drill my own hole here and there for, for my studs and just ran some self-tappers in them. But it's a great, it's a great system super easy and nothing comes out of place. Moving on to the bottom bunks. They're made from one by one inch uh, steel tubing that are welded together, painted flat black and added some 3 8 sheeting over top, self tappers and then added that puzzle piece material. I also incorporated some tie downs with some self tappers right into the stud a little bit of paracord and a carabiner with an eyelet going right through the one inch steel. Same on the other side as well on the other side as well. So that gives me a little bit of play to work with. They don't bang and clang. While in transport, I kind of usually have a piece of foam that I sleep on. I either sleep on a little bit of foam or a mat to stop that from happening. So once the bed's down, I simply ran some carriage bolts right through the one by one tubing and then self tap them right into the wall stud with self tappers, of course. So a couple of nuts underneath, a couple of washers, same there as well. You just pre-drill your holes, run your bolts through and everything sits nice. Bro tip number one, really think about where you want to be when it comes to your beds and how high you want to be off the ground. You definitely want to be at least a foot to 16 inches off the ground so you can utilize that under space for bags, hunting gear, and everything else that you're going to be bringing on your trips. You don't want to have everything jammed at the front of your trailer. But definitely come off the ground higher than I did because I made that mistake and corrected it with another build and just having that under space is perfect for those hockey bags and all that equipment. So I got a couple of these blocks notched out for the inch by inch beds. A couple of those so to just disconnect. set. 
and there you have it set up for two a third if you want to throw in that bunk pro tip number two if i were to do it all over again i would definitely have legs that fold down when you brought the bed down on a hinge style mechanism there's this works for me for my centerpiece and we'll get right into that let's make it cozy for two add my centerpiece Throw an air mattress in, and you're solid. Well, that about sums it up on the bottom. Liam's ladder to get up to his top bunk. And we got his mattress, just to give him a little bit more comfort up there. And as well, his curtain for his privacy. We got our bed down there. Now keep it up. Keep it like that for the simple fact that Liam could get access to his ladder at all times during the day. And well, that about wraps it up for me. Thank you very much for taking the time to tune in to the locators on YouTube. We definitely like to see you guys on Facebook. Trailer Conversions Western Canada, the locators. I want to see your builds. I want to see your setups. Great place where we can converse and talk about questions and answers. Thank you very much for tuning in. We'll see you on the lake.